Um, what I think we should start with is the halibut. We okay. have some nice Atlantic halibut here. It's gorgeous. Came in yesterday, mm -hmm. brought it here last night. Uh, salt and pepper, obviously we want to be, you know, depending upon our clientele and what our likes, tastes are, mm -hmm. adjust the seasoning appropriately. Uh, and you know, of course, we want to go a little uh, kind of up higher Season so we can see the salt hitting the, the protein. So that kind of disperses it. Right, Nicely. it's like a little snow, a little snowing. <laughs> then we have the pepper. Would you like to do the pepper? Oh, I would love to. Great. <laughs> and that's white pepper. Okay. So we've seasoned one side. So let's grab the tongs, flip them over. And you gotta it, season the other you side. You gotta season the other side, right? So we'll tag team this again. I'll grated. do the pepper. Excellent. You get the salt. Perfect. Excellent. Good? Perfect okay. job. Perfect. I couldn't have done it better myself. Oh, well, you know, it's not my first rodeo. So we're going to let the pan get nice and hot. We're going to go with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You can see how this oil is like... Such a beautiful neon green. Almost that greeny, like yellowy... Like tennis ball first, yellow. First cold... Yes. Mm -hmm. First cold pressed. Um, it does have a lower burning point, but it adds an incredible amount of flavor. flavor. Yeah. So if we maintain it properly and, and do our job. So you just got to be careful just with gotta the technique. Just got to be gentle, right, exactly. See, now, uh, yeah, now, now we're, we're getting hot. Now we got some heat here. All right, is We're that at too the hot? smoke point. No, we're That's okay. Because we have three pieces of halibut. We want to sear those nicely. Because they'll cool the pan down. Right, right as you put each uh, filet in. So a little bit of oil here. Mm -hmm. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Okay. It's a non-stick skillet, right? So uh, you know, it's kind of, some people say it's cheating, but I, I'm fine with it. It's insurance, you know. It's right. just making sure your so product comes out right. Let's grab the tongs. Okay. And another thing we want to do is make sure that when we introduce the protein to the sauté pan, we angle the pan away from us mm. a little bit so it doesn't splatter up in us. We don't want to ruin our hair. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're having good hair day, so uh, we're gonna just lay these in here like this, nice and gently. Okay, and Beautiful. we can remove okay. this. Got that? Oh, yep, thank okay. you. So let's let these get going. Now, another important trick is not to move the fish right mm -hmm. now. You, you want to let the, you wanna let the uh, natural sugar caramelize a little bit, and that creates your crust, which you know, nice and golden brown, mm -hmm. and then we'll be on our way. So Beautiful. we'll let these go. So let's check out our... Um, our fish here, it's looking very good. You can see it's starting to brown on the bottom well, there. Well, you can see the edge right here. Yeah. See that near edge? Mm -hmm. And you see the albumin starting to um, yeah. coagulate there? That means we're almost ready to flip. So we can give it, right now, we can give it a little shake, see if it releases. Oh, see how they it all did. release? Yeah. yeah. See, if you go in too early and it's not hot enough, then That's when it sticks? It sticks, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna flip these over. Okay. And we're gonna pop them in the oven. Perfect. But I wanna make sure that we have really nice color here. So that's beautiful. I'd like to go another minute. A little minute. bit more. Another minute, whoa, everybody be careful. A little flame there. Uh, which is okay because, you know, that just rose up. You don't want the pan to go on fire. Oh, of course not, no. Yeah. Now, can you eat the halibut rare? Absolutely, you can eat it raw. Sure. Yeah, I it's mean. Sushi grade. I've had halibut many times at sushi mm -hmm. places, raw, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's flip these over. Okay. And again, we talked about the oil being in the pan. Mm -hmm. We want to tilt the pan a little bit away from us. Okay. And gently flip them like... That looks nice. Right, so that looks real nice. Oh yeah. Beautiful. We're there. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to go directly in the oven. All right. So you have this set at 500 degrees? 500, so all the super way. super hot oven. Yes. And how long would that take to cook through? We're talking like five or six minutes So really here. quick. Then we might flip them again. You know, these are, this is a pretty thick cut. Yeah, for sure. So it needs, you know, good five to eight minutes, depending upon the thickness. Okay. But also it depends on what temperature you like it at. Yeah, we don't need to cook it to death. Right, no, know? absolutely not. All right, nice. Let's check on the halibut. Let's check on the halibut. I think it looks good. Looking what do you think? very good. Uh, you can see again from the 
you know, if we if we bring it over here, mm -hmm. you can see the albumin has come through and see it. So that's how you know that it's it's, it's cooked through. It's, well, it's not cooked through, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So yeah. will this carry over cooking? Absolutely. Any protein that you cook carries over. Yeah, so it's going to kind of finish nice and gently. Right. And then we can always give it a quick sear on the stove or on the grill, mm -hmm. whatever you like. We but, just don't um, want to overcook it. We don't want to overcook totally. it. Right. Not that we should overcook fish, right? Mm -hmm. Let's leave the halibut in this pan. I just want to give them a little spin here. And uh, we're going to slide these over on the cutting board. Okay, let's grab the plate for the halibut. Let's do it. And I prepared a little uh, lemon cream here. This is basically some reduced heavy cream with a mm. little bit of lemon juice. It's very simple. Nice. It's, it's a little simple. Uh, like a little spark of... Ties everything together. Right, yeah. but we're not dousing the product in sure. cream, cream, you know? So what I like to do is just do a little bit of maybe a little artistic little... All right, we got our potatoes here. And we'll just lay these out. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to you know, kind of make like a little semi-circle or mm -hmm. oval, whatever you're into at the moment, but. I'm into circles right now. Yeah, circles are big. So we're placing these on circles the dish. Circles are big. Circles are big right now. So hot right They're now. They're huge in France. <laughs> so we're gonna put our ragu down. You see how it's like a broken emulsion almost? Yeah. It, it, not broken, but you know, it it's does. It's just a lovely little yeah. sauce is what I'm seeing. We're just going right in the those middle of the Those caramelized vegetables, but those fresh tomatoes, yeah. the herbs. The herbs, little lemon juice for the pop, for the acidity. Mm -hmm. So let's pop the halibut right on. Nice. Okay. And I like, I like to do a little chive at the end. I love chives. Just, you know, little chopped chive. Nice little fresh oniony yeah, bite. Yeah, and a little color. Little color. Little color. Yeah. And, you know, wipe off the excess there. And I think we should go with a little bit of olive oil. You gotta. Fresh, beautiful olive oil. And you can put a little bit on top of the fish. Mm -hmm. Gives it a nice glisten. A nice, exactly. And then a little bit around. Killer. Oh, oh wait, we oh, have to wait, do one the more micro thing, one more thing. The uh, micro greens. And these just get a little olive oil and, and salt. This is your... Um, That's your, your salad. Your little, your little veggie. Yeah. So a little salt, a little olive oil. We toss this around. Very simple. You don't need, you know, if you put lemon juice or vinegar, it'll wilt. Mm. So this is just, we make a little pile on top of there and we're good now to go. Now it looks finished. That looks that awesome. That looks good. Evan, you've done it again.